Hi, I'm Sinead Kennedy. I'm a physical therapist, Pilates and yoga instructor. I have a brand new online course for you. It's called Happy Hips and Hamstrings. It's absolutely ideal, especially for anybody who's doing an awful lot of sitting at the moment. Perhaps you're working from a kitchen table office, which isn't ideal. Or you might be a sports star and you're forgetting to do some cross training and you're not really working enough on your mobility and flexibility. That's perfectly normal as well. We all like to do what we're good at and we forget about the other stuff. So join me for this course. You're going to find lots and lots of videos with lots of variety to take you through plenty of ranges of movement. We're going to be looking at hips, hamstrings, quads, hip flexors, lower back, calves and ankles. They're all connected. So if you're feeling just a little bit stiff, sore and tired, would like to do something different for your body, then this course is for you. The best thing about it is, is that you own it forever so you can do the course multiple times and also you can go through the course at your own pace. You can also find your favorite class and repeat it over and over again. Let me show you a quick stretch while we're here. So from here, we're going to sit up nice and tall and straight. Take the legs out straight. If you can't sit on the floor comfortably with the back straight, just get some cushions and elevate yourself off the floor. Take a nice big inhale stretch. Exhale, hinge forward. Doesn't matter if you touch your toes or not. And stack up. So using your tummy to articulate your spine. Take another big inhale up and exhale down last one big inhale up and exhale down and then when you're ready from here we're going to reach down take our big toe with our hand sit up nice and straight and then stir soup with your legs so mobilizing the hip now, if you're struggling to reach the foot, don't worry, you can lean back. You could always come down onto your elbows and just stir some soup here and just get the hip to waken up for you. That's it. Or you could sit up against a door as well to support your back if you're not feeling too sturdy in your core. From here, we're going to take the sole of the foot and just gently drive the knee underneath the shoulder, underneath the armpit. Try and hold on to it as if you're holding a wallet or a newspaper. Now, if again, if that's not really working for you, you could lean back and you could just pull the leg like so. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to you. And then when you're ready, release it. Let's take the other leg. Stir soup. it so hip joint is a ball and socket it likes to roll and it likes to rotate and then when you're ready take the sole of the foot draw the knee in and underneath your armpit sit up against the door if your back is collapsing and use it the door to help you into that tummy and then slowly release it well done give your legs a little shake out so it's just as easy as that to wake up your hips. So why not come along and join me and I'll take you through 12 videos where you are going to have two brand new hips. See you soon.